Hello and welcome to Space Simulation Toolkit, which is a game which uses the GPU to provide basically what feels like unlimited processing power because I have an RTX 4090. Now, I'm going to use a map a little bit smaller than the suggested so we get that buttery smooth FPS, but look at the number of particles we have here. This is a particle sandbox game, which using the GPU can handle literally absurd amounts of particles. So this is a, the, the protobiome map, which simulates a life, which I've been trying to find documentation on what these particles and stuff actually mean, but I'm still a little lost. So I think we're just gonna have to lock, watch and learn. I think the yellow dots moving around symbolize light because when they strike the blue and green dots, they grow. So I think that's energy. And then these red dots seem to be some sort of animal life. So maybe it's plant life and animal life. Yeah, so this is material plant and this is material animal. And so the animal will eat the plant and the plant eats the light. So the other thing is that the animal has genetics which control how it grows, which you can see up here on the top left, there's a DNA thing. And it has a parent DNA, it's got an age. There's just all of this data attached to every single particle. And it's almost unbelievable that it is able, it doesn't, it doesn't just simulate what you're looking at. It simulates this entire thing millions of particles constantly at a perfect 60 fps it's almost magical and like this level of simulation is something i just have never seen stone ray water water will water help it grow I just poured a bunch of water into here. I don't know what that's going to do. Lots of water. And then how about some plant? Trying to select plant, but instead it's... Oh! Oh, what just happened here? Oh! Oh, what is going on? And it's getting hit by the yellow and it's turning yellow. Okay. What is this? plant this is a plant it would appear that it's like a very yellow plant i don't know if the water helped it grow i think it's showing how much energy it has as it gets hit by these uh so it gets hit by the light and it look we're getting a little bit of green we're getting a little bit of green growing off of it oh this entire section on the inside died because it wasn't getting any light Oh, interesting. So the plant can't grow too thick because then the inside won't get any light. And now this inside here is just full of water, which has kind of been trapped inside of the plant. Oh, that's so neat. So, so neat. We got a lot of just very green plants in the center here and animals eating the plants kind of on the fringes over here. There we go, gravity. So now we have light being spun and gravity being pulled in here. Oh my God, look at it go. Look at it go, look at it go. Everything, the entire world is being pulled in. What is going to form? I mean, if when the plant dies, it becomes stone, then it would be reasonable to expect that this is going to form a massive planet. And I mean, there's no way that the animal will survive in the middle without the plant. But then again, there's no way that the plant on the outside will survive because there's going to be no light. Ha! Quite the quagmire. Look at it go. Look at, look at it just... This is literally insane. This may be one of the most insane things I've ever... Oh, but the light! Light! isn't going to be affected by gravity as much because obviously light doesn't <laughs> it's not it's not normal matter 
but that means that it's not being pulled in. I'm, I'm aware that light can be bent by gravity, but there is, we're losing some to the outside, but the outside of this planet will actually keep getting hit by the remnant light out here for a while. This, this is interesting. As expected, the outside is just the only bit really left alive, although it's all dead anyways. All that's left is this massive blob of just dying animal. Dying animal, some plants embedded in this stone, but it's about to be completely empty. But I think that I can create a protobiome aqua real biome cosmic i have no clue what any of this does there's so many controls and i'm just like i, I have no clue i have literally no clue but i can create light like this and so let's see if i create some light if we can give half of this new planet we've created plants. Look at that! As we shine light onto the surface of the planet, we are actually getting plant life on the surface. A lot of it too. Which means the animals on the surface may actually survive. Even though, technically speaking, they shouldn't have much luck. Can I just do this in the center? What?! Yo, oh, it changes. When I click on something that already exists, it changes it into the new type, which means that this entire planet is about to crunch inward because I accidentally got rid of the core. You guys are like, accidentally, Spike. Accidentally, accidentally. I accidentally saw this planet in half. Oh, the rate of simulation is just insane. Look at it go. I'm genuinely curious how a lot of this works. Like, there's water. Can I just pour water on the surface? What will happen? Will the water just float above everything else? Will it drown the plant? Does the plant need water? Well, it does appear to be going on top. Just look. I... I think this may be one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. And you may be saying to yourself, Spike, this just looks like a mess. But you have to understand the amount of simulation that's going on here. And every single animal has genetics to it as well for how it grows. Like, this is just a level of simulation that shouldn't be possible on consumer hardware this number of particles now granted you could say that a 4090 isn't really consumer for most people but the point is what is spore and what does it do is it like mold spores is it going to do something have i just ended the world with these who knows kind of curious what's going to happen but the point being that this is just insane I mean, there isn't too much content to this game yet, but if you imagine in the future, if some features are added, you could do some really, I mean, you already can do some really, really cool stuff with this, but you could do some really, really, really cool stuff with this. I like how the, the, the animals are just winning. Like the entire outside of this planet is just a massive blob of animals, which are just trying to find the final plants inside. <laughs> It's just they're eating into the planet slowly but steadily. Oh man, this is so cool. So so cool. So there's there's some there's some things you can do as well. Like you've got the cosmo settings where you can actually change the gravity, you can turn things to no collide, which makes really funny things happen. Um yeah, let me show you. I turn on no collide. 
everything is just gonna fall into itself like a black hole. But then if I turn Collide back on, oh, supernova! I literally just exploded the planet. And by exploding the planet, we just caused a ton of plant life to grow from all of that light being released and hitting all of that plant. Look at the amount of plant life we just created. And now all of it is collapsing back down once again. All of it is collapsing back down and reforming a planet. But this time it's so much healthier. I mean, ignoring the fact that the planet is like 98% made of meat, which is a little bit weird. Look at all the plant falling onto it. Look at all the plant falling onto it. The animal is eating the plant as it falls. I wonder what would happen if we created a planet just without animal and just plant. Have no fear, I can actually test that. I can also do biome stuff where you can set the maximum age of stuff. Um, but let's go ahead and set all the everything to plant. I'm curious. If I get rid of all the animal, will the plant just happily grow? If I get rid of all the competition, and am I capable of making a larger... Don't know. I thought there might be a way to increase the size of the brush. Oh, there we go. Shift scroll. Here we, here we go. Okay, I have now turned everything to plant that it let me know. There's always like one animal particle left because it's, it's, they're growing as I'm doing this. So I think I'd actually have to like restart to get rid of the animal. But I wonder if I can just delete it, no? Turn it all to stone. Something that animal can't eat. There we go, let's see if this kills it. So now I've turned everything to stone, which animal obviously cannot eat stone. There's still some animal left over here though. Didn't get nuked. My genocide of the animals was not successful. There's some outside that are still managing to survive. And now it doesn't seem to be letting me remove them anymore. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. There's just these chunks all over the place that have formed. And these poor chunks from the ripped apart planet. I think I may have deleted the gravity. No, it's still there. Things are falling back in. All right, this was 20 minutes of me just getting a feel for this, but this is awesome. I feel like a lot can be done with this and we'll take another look at it in the future because this is just the biology side, which I thought was cool. But there's also galaxy simulations and planets and stuff and we'll take a look at those. Thank you all for watching, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. This is crazy.